Obituaries are sponsored by Colonial Funeral Home and Stokes Chapel, Fair, Ray, and Perry Spencer Funeral Homes, Boone and Cook Funeral Home and Crematory. Three announcements from Perry Spencer Funeral Homes. Funeral services for Peggy Hayes Dillard are today at 11 in Eden, with public viewing one hour prior to services. Minister George Wendell Manns, 78, of Stoneville, died July 16th. Public viewing is Friday in Madison from 1 to 7.30, with funeral services Saturday at 1. The family will receive friends 30 minutes prior to the service. Interment in Mayo Missionary Baptist Church Cemetery, Ridgeway. Kenneth Leroy Tucker, Sr., 69, of Madison, died July 17th. Public viewing is tomorrow, 1 to 7.30 in Madison, with graveside services Friday at 11 at Collins Cemetery, Madison. Four announcements from Fair Funeral Home. Sherry Myrick, 59, died July 19th. Arrangements are incomplete. Funeral services for Robert Lee Martin, Jr. are today at 11 with burial at Overlook Cemetery with full military honors. Visitation one hour prior to services. Graveside services for Jeffrey Lynn Fulp are Friday at 11 at Danview Cemetery. Visitation tomorrow, 5 till 7. Funeral services for Robert Norman Bray are Saturday at 10 at Promise Baptist Church with burial at Ridgeview Memorial Gardens. Visitation Friday, 5 till 7. Three announcements from Colonial Funeral Home. Funeral services for James Benjamin Benny Gann Sr. are today at 2 in Madison with burial in the Old Country Church Cemetery. Funeral services for Kathy Gay Cox Claybrook are tomorrow at 2 at Christian View Christian Church with burial in the church cemetery. The family will receive friends two hours prior to services. Ruth Jane Richardson Collins, 93, of Madison, died July 18th. Graveside services are Saturday at 11 at Ellisboro Baptist Church Cemetery. The family will receive friends Friday in Madison, 7 to 9. She was a Rockingham County native and a retired secretary. Surviving children, William R. Billy Collins, Jr. and Ken Collins, three grandchildren and three great-grandchildren. She was preceded in death by husband William Robert Collins, Sr., 